Hey everybody, welcome to this Board Game Life video look into the game Indigo, uh, released by Ravensburger and designed by Reiner Kinesia. This is uh, a pretty cool little game. Uh, let's check out what this is all about. So, as you can see here, it's got a board, a bunch of jewels, uh, some uh, player colors over here, and uh, let's, let me kind of explain how, what that's all about. So, uh, this is a game for uh, two to four people, and everybody chooses a color. We have red and white set up over here. Uh, each of these sides is called a gateway that has six particular uh, spots over here in the gateways. You can see denoted here by these arrows, and uh, the arrows are pointing out. Uh, this is where jewels can exit uh, into the player's gateway and score them points. Uh, there's three kinds of jewels. There's blue, green, and yellow. And these jewels over here are worth three for the blue, two for the green, one for the yellow. And uh, when you play with different amounts of players, if you look in the rule book for the game, it has a dis different uh, distribution for how the... Uh, how the uh, colors get laid out in the gateways. As you can see here, for a two-player game, it uh, has uh, equal distribution over here, alternating. And if you do three-player, there are a couple of spots here, like this two spot and four and six, where there's a mix. So here, there's two colors where this is just one, and uh, four is uh, similar. So, uh, also, every player has a shield over here, which kind of hides uh, what they've got. And the shields on the back side have uh, the point value for all the jewels. And they also have some examples of how you can um, do the uh, tile placement. Okay, so uh, these are really nice, uh, uh, nicely designed, large shields. Uh, they did a pretty good job with those. Okay, and then uh, we have these tiles right here. They're all hexagons, and they have various routes uh, built into them here. So some will be straight on, uh, on all sides, or some will have curves, very sharp curves, and, uh, and so forth, or mixes. So basically what you do in this game is everybody starts out with a tile that they place behind their shield. And when it's the player's turn, what they do is they choose uh, a location to place this at. So in the central area over here, we have the five greens and the one blue. The greens all have to come out before the blue comes out. So for example, if this is the white player, they might do something like this. They'll place this tile here, and then they take one of the greens and they push it forward as far as they can um, down that path. Uh, then that concludes their turn and they draw another one that they put behind their shield. So let's say that the, so that was white, let's say the red player then goes. They might do something, let's say like, uh, let's say they want to actually steal this one from that player. They'll actually maybe put it here and divert it over towards them and then they take their tile. So let's put that over there. Let's go back to this one over here and uh, at this point, the white player might choose to do something like this. So they can put this one over here, and now they'll try to take the yellow. So tile placement basically will connect uh, these paths from tile to tile. Uh, the only move that you can't make is if you look over here, there is an X and it, the shape is, let me put this over here. There you go. You see how there's an X that basically says you can't join two arrows like that. So that is an illegal move. Otherwise, everything else is pretty much uh, open and available for you to do. So play continues in this fashion up until the players have gone through and removed all of the gems or the jewels off of the board and they have scored them. So for example over here 
this would be a score for white. They would take this jewel here, which is yellow and it's worth one point. When you play in the three and four player games, you'll have some that are mixed like this. So this is a red and a white uh, gateway. In this case, when one of the players moves out, uh, they score that particular jewel, and then the other person who owns that gateway as well, uh, they will take one from the supply. So they score, both players score equally in this fashion. And uh, that's pretty much about it for uh, Indigo. Uh, the rules are very simple. Uh, this is a game that I actually play with my five-year-old son, and he loves it. He actually does fairly well. He can build the paths um, pretty good, although he doesn't take kindly to when you try to redirect the, um, the, the gems towards you and try to steal it away from him. He uh, doesn't quite have that down yet. Uh, or at least uh, find it acceptable. He finds that kind of mean. But uh, otherwise, uh, the game is, is, is pretty fun. It's a, it's a nice light family game, definitely uh, not a heavy game by any means. Uh, but most importantly, it's fun. It's, it's got a pretty cool little mechanism over here. It's very satisfying to build that path. And one thing that is very, very cool is when you have a whole bunch of tiles, let's say like this whole quadrant over here is all built out, and then you redirect one of the jewel, one of the gems into there, and it just kind of like loops around and you know maybe goes somewhere where you want it to go. Or another cool move is if you were to kind of loop it around, I, I kind of like this too, where somebody's doing this here, and then you drop one of these guys in, you whoop, you redirect it out into your side, the opposite side. So it's got some uh, fun uh, mechanic to uh, steal gems from people. But uh, yeah, so uh, that is Indigo. Uh, highly recommended game for families. Uh, a lot of fun. Uh, definitely a lot more fun than I was expecting. I uh, definitely give it a thumbs up. And so this is a game that you might want to consider checking out. Again, that's Indigo by Ravensburger, designed by Dr. Kinesia. Thanks for watching, everybody.